Hey there, Adrienne Elise here. Welcome to the Gaia Daily for August 5th through 8th, 2022. Well, here we are smack dab in the middle of the Lion's Gate portal. And this is the Leo energy and a call for supernova souls to come out of their shell, to come out of where they've hide, been hiding, to come out of that half-lived life and claim back their destiny, claim back your timeline. We've had a massive, we're in the process of a massive timeline activation with uh, Mars having come into that conjunction with Uranus in the North Node. Uranus and the North Node have been close together um, uh, all since the end of July and will stay in exact conjunction until the 10th. And that's putting us through this Lionsgate portal that traditionally peaks out on the 8th this year, 8th, 9th, 10th with this astrology. So Uranus in the North Node, Uranus is higher vibrational frequency, the ruler of Aquarius speaking to the Aquarian age, it's a connection to our higher self. It's also unexpected actions and occurrences. So this is a big part of what we're dealing with right now. Um, this whole story we've been talking about that, okay, we're getting a sense that there is an other option, there is uh, we can rise above, we can see the dream is still alive. And yet that ideal timeline is so far away from where we have been. And so this is exactly what the whole astrology is speaking to right now. How do we claim this highest timeline? How do we let this snap back into place? How do we get out of resistance? And everything right now is showing us all of the stuck places that's ke that are keeping us from uh, really claiming our ideal divine timeline, which is our birthright. So what's going on is that we've been feeling a really sweet sextile with Venus and Mars. And that is started for kind of the whole first few days of August. And uh, we're still feeling this through the weekend. Now, Venus is in Cancer and Mars is in Taurus. So both feminine sides, we got signs, we have water, we have earth, and we're looking at um, literally claiming back on an elemental level uh, that birthright for a more ideal life. So a very sweet sextile between these planets, and yet both of them, Mars and Venus, they're in a harmonious uh, two degree, two signs apart, 60 degrees, but they're both in square to major players. So we've got uh, Venus in Cancer and square to Pluto in Capricorn. I mean, excuse me, opposite of Pluto in Capricorn. And then we've got Mars in Taurus in opposition or in square to Saturn. So this is activating this whole fixed square energy and Venus opposite Pluto is um, that energy of the feminine wanting to come into her nurturing to feel safe and loved and held. But now she's opposite of the structures of our lives that are keeping us from claiming our autonomy and our power and our sovereignty. So, um, Venus has been on quite a journey with that conjunction with Black Moon Lilith, squaring up to Chiron, trining the South Node, and now opposing Pluto. And she's like, all right, I'm not going to let anything hold me back from my freedom and my autonomy anymore. So it's like everywhere there's structures that are not in alignment with that highest divine timeline. And that means they're not in alignment with the ideal and the love and the possibilities and what we're really here for and who we really are. And haven't we been playing this game long enough? So Venus is frustrated, but also there's a power in oppositions of like a reflection back to the other side. And so maybe she's seeing her role and where she's allowed herself to be manipulated and controlled, where she's allowed the patriarchal structures to define her reality. 
and no more. So all of these transits are about strength. And Mars now in Taurus in um, square to Saturn. We've just had um, this um, the sun and Mercury make this make a, an opposition to Saturn. And now we've got Mars square Saturn. We've been feeling this for quite a while, but it peaks out on the eighth. Now Mars square Saturn is one of the biggest tension transits. Um, Mars is about go time. Saturn is about limitations and restrictions. In this case, in Aquarius, we're looking at the limitations and restrictions that are keeping us from claiming this better new world, better life, our true purpose of living. And because Saturn rules timelines and realities. And so we are trying to claim this. And yet all these fixed signs, because with um, Mars square Saturn, Mars is in Taurus, Saturn and Aquarius, we've got Uranus North Node in, I'm in, in Taurus, and the South Node in Scorpio. Now, when the sun comes um, into, the sun is going to be coming into an opposition with Saturn next week. And so this is going to make it a grand, another grand fixed cross. So all of the fixed signs being uh, represented in this configuration. And the fixed energy is interesting because it's about establishing and anchoring in, right? So it's like, what is keeping you from anchoring in, in this new vibration and where, what are you stuck in from the past that's keeping you from really claiming it? And so with Venus opposite Pluto and Mars square Saturn, we are sure to see the structures that have been one limiting us and holding us back. Um, the structures of control and that have been keeping us from our own autonomy. Now, everything here, as we look at this um, energy of anchoring in this new timeline and claiming this new reality, um, we have to look at our worthiness and permission for this experience. And that's all lit up with all of this Taurus energy, our self-worth for a better life is that's what's keeping us not believing not believing in ourselves not having the confidence to be able to make the changes to be able to listen to our heart song to be able to uh, move forward in our own way because the opposition with Pluto and Venus is really bringing up a concept that's been coming up so much for supernova souls and in general in that if we're really going to move forward in this evolution we know that it's a free will universe and we have got to go our own way we've got to it, we can't move forward and still be loyal to outside agendas and other people and it's really, really difficult. So a lot of what's going on with what's keeping us stuck, what's giving, keeping us from having the confidence and the courage and the, and, um, and the self-worth to claim this higher vibrational frequency in this better life um, often has to do with loyalties outside of us. And with um, Chiron and Aries and this Venus had just went into a was in the square with Chiron now this opposition with Pluto it's all about this fight for our life force and for the power that is our own and yet it's a lonely road it's always been a lonely road for supernova souls when you chose your spiritual truth when you chose your individual timeline when you chose your um your full autonomy it often meant being exiled or separated from the group and um, we have to rewrite these stories. On the one hand, we have to understand that that's been a choice we've made. And on the other hand, we have to know that now it's different. Because in order to really be free, and in order to come into our full path and purpose, we must come together and work together as supernova souls. 
Uh, but maybe that deep and profound esoteric loneliness and the fear of that is coming up as we go and face these stuck places and these choices. August, the whole energy of August with these fixed squares and um, the squaring planets and yet a new timeline trying to land, it's like autocorrect. And um, when you, so time, energy of the universe and timelines and vibration and um, trajectory motion is all self-correcting. And actually, we're in the process of our d timeline self-correcting. This is how, why the body gets sick and shows symptoms, because we have a life force, this vital force. And the vital force uh, gives us the power, the energy, the life force to be able to fight disease and heal ourselves. Um, but when you're going on the wrong course and your body is getting sicker, all of a sudden, typically, you'll the body will come forward with a strong set of symptoms, and this is a exactly that energy of the self-correcting vital force, the self-correcting law and life of the universe. The self-correcting energy is exactly what's going on with this Uranus North Node conjunction and this snapping of this timeline back into place. So. If there's a correction coming and Uranus brings higher frequency vibration and unexpected and uh, actions, then we're sure to find on the one hand, we're finding everywhere we're stuck in the old. And on the other hand, we're, find, we're having opportunities or being pushed <laughs> into zigs and zags. So it's kind of like, whoa, all of a sudden over here in unexpected ways, unexpected occurrences and situations. Um, that are kind of trying to jolt us out of our patterns and lead us in a new direction, more in alignment. So all of this astrology, of, of course, is about getting us to claim and hold this higher frequency vibration, what we know is possible. And the frustration we're feeling is where our life hasn't been able to adjust to this, where we haven't been able to find that confidence, that permission that sense of self that can allow us to have the resolve to push through. So this astrology with these squares and our personal planets, Venus and Mars in square, and then the sun will be coming in or in that, in those tension transits, oppositions and squares, then the sun coming in, um, the sun is going to be coming in next week to a square with Uranus and then are first the nodes of the moon and then Uranus and they're very close um, and so the sun will be triggering this and more fixed square energy and so it's like we're trying to establish something new but we don't have a foundation we don't know where we're at because we haven't been able to have the resolve to live for ourselves and not the people around us to follow our own agenda and not the group think and what's required of us and all this and it's like uh, a huge culmination of showing us what's stuck and giving us the strength, the gall, the impetus to push through those stuck places and begin more and more every moment, every day that we claim our vibration and our higher frequency and that alignment with that higher timeline, we're bringing that closer. We're living that truth. And that's exactly what we're being asked to do right now. Um, Next week, we'll also have Venus moving into the sign of Leo. So Venus is coming to those N degrees in this opposition with Pluto at 26 degrees. And then Venus will join uh, Leo. And so we'll have the sun and Venus. And Mercury is moving over into a Virgo today. So uh, powerful shifting energies, Le Venus coming out of that cancer, the deep dive into deep emotions and grief and insecurities and sensitivities. And then now she's ready to shine and she's ready to say, hey, I'm going to claim back my life. So um, that will be a big shift and Mars 
later in the month on the 21st Mars moves over into Gemini and of course the Sun will move over into Virgo so that'll be a big shift of energy as well and so this whole month is like uh, all about cementing in a new reality but realizing that's too far away from where we've been and we got to zig and we got to zag and we got to go back and around about and maybe take a detour but it's all about that vibrational resonance and incredibly powerful. And then we've got um, the full moon in Aquarius coming up and next week as well. So where we are blooming into this new timeline and blooming into the potential that lies within us and vibrating and claiming that and everything about showing us where we're stuck and also giving us that power to push through and to claim. So big shifting energies this month and a lot of dynamic the squares the 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 fixed cross energy is so fixed signs are very um they're about completions and about anchoring in. And so, but also we can get stuck there. And so it's like this back and forth between anchoring in the new, adjusting, claiming, and facing all that's in the way or that isn't in alignment with that highest divine ideal. So we're moving mountains. The ground is shifting under our feet and it's up to us to claim this new vibrational reality. Allow the zigs and the zags be present in every moment. You know, when we know exactly what we're doing all the time and we have our life all rigid and planned, there's no room for the magic to come in. And that's how that's been a compensating mechanism to get through these unsettling times. But now we really need to get move into this new way of co-creation where we can leave space for what we don't know. And um, because that's when we feel most in alignment, <laughs> ironically, right? In the old way, the old 3D way is like, oh, when you really know where you're going, you got a plan and then you can follow through. And it's like, uh uh, throw that shit out the window. This is about being present with what is because you have no idea what's around the corner and it could be more a magic and amazing um, that you, than you can imagine. When you can claim and hold this vibrational frequency, what happens is that you begin to kind of, the picture I'm seeing is the supernova souls like rising to the top, the cream rising to the top. And it's so much easier to find those key people and situations that can really help you move forward on your path right now. So um, use this power to break free and to um, claim we claim the timeline by allowing our our energy and vibration to come into alignment with possibilities with the dream the vision of what we all know is possible that we've been holding in our heart and our soul quietly um, through all of this evolution and now it's time to push that forward. So part of the fixed energy is like anchoring, but then that anchor gives you something to push against and the wheel of time is turning and, um, the timelines are self-correcting and why don't we just get in vibration and get out of the way of this process? So, um, if you can stay present in this, the, the month of August can be so transformational and really zig or zag you into a way better placement. So allow it to happen, sit tight, be present, and um, pay very close attention to wherever you can seed your momentary uh, agenda of this vibrational frequency to other people's agendas. It's going to be more and more clear. We've been doing this, conceding away our reality, conceding away our dream, um, going along with the program to get along and be accepted by the group, and it's no longer working. And so now it's going to be more and more obvious. This astrology is all about making it really obvious where you're stuck and 
um, giving us the strength to push through and claim that more ideal, most beautiful divine timeline. And more and more supernova souls, you're letting yourself resonate here. I feel it. And so just keep up the great work. You are amazing. And it's such an honor to be here and work with you. So thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you on the next update. Until then, I'm Adrienne Elise. Namaste.